head off. Mm -hmm. And I think he's got a good chance to do it. Is there a guarantee? Hell no. Uh, hey, well, Jake Paul's got to make it to the ring without pissing his pants because fighting Mike Tyson, I don't care what age, it's the scariest thing you could ever think about. And he's going to be thinking about it every day. He's got to make it there mentally. Boxing legend Mike Tyson has issued a new warning to Jake Paul on live, leaving Paul in a state of panic and fear. Meanwhile, Eddie Hearn has taken a U-turn on his opinion of the upcoming fight. Concerning? Yeah, look, I don't want to... It's, it's difficult because when you give... Like, you know my opinion. I've, I've given interviews about it before. But when you, if you say anything negative, you are a hater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eddie Hearn reflected last month on the stomping ground that he understood the event and what people wanted to see. He noted that people were interested in watching freak shows. I get the event. I know what people want to see. They want to see freak shows. And that's what it is. It's a freak show. So it will do really well. People will tune in. But it's not for everyone. You know, if you love your boxing, I don't human. feel, yeah, I mean, if you grew up watching Mike Tyson and he's one of your greatest fighters of all time, the last thing you want to do is see him get back in the ring at 58 years old and lose to Jake Paul. He further mentioned that the general opinion among the casual audience was that it seemed like a freak show and they would watch it. He speculated about the content of the card, suggesting that it could potentially be a great night of boxing. Listen, no one knows the value of views better than you. So, <laughs> is that a slide dig? That, that, well, that's the truth. The, the general consensus from the casual audience is, oh, that's a bit of a freak show. I'll watch that. If you love your boxing, but look, who knows what's going to be on the card? Maybe it's a great night of boxing. We'll, we'll see. Hearn then indicated that he would make a final decision on whether to watch based on the quality of the undercard. However, Hearn's opinion may have been changed as the fight on the undercard has been announced. Jake Paul has revealed that boxing phenomenon Katie Taylor, reigning supreme in the lightweight division, is stepping into the ring to face off the formidable Amanda Serrano. Notably, Matchroom and Hearn are promoting Taylor. Mike Tyson also tweeted about this fight and said, We have the biggest female boxing event ever on our card. I have always advocated for female boxers getting more recognition and getting paid bigger purses. So for the Taylor versus Serrano, two fight to be on our fight card is historic. Tyson has applauded the bout, saying he thinks it would increase the number of people watching his fight with Paul. In a recent statement, Tyson said, Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano are two of the best boxers in the world. I know they can both put on an incredible show, and I'm thrilled to have them join this card. He further commented that these exceptional athletes would enhance the event due to their worldwide appeal and strong fan bases. He believed that featuring one of the greatest fights in women's boxing history in this memorable event would be a genuine treat for fans. Tyson added, These remarkable athletes will undoubtedly elevate the event with their global appeal and fan bases. Adding one of the greatest fights in women's boxing history to this unforgettable event is a true gift to fans. Saturday, July 20th can't get here soon enough. It appears as though someone has heeded the fervent desires of fans. It's been a span of two years since Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano locked horns, etching their names into the annals of history. Their clash marked the maiden occasion of a women's bout headlining at the legendary Madison Square Garden. Since that memorable event, enthusiasts have clamored incessantly for a rematch. In a post on her ex account, Amanda Serrano detailed her pledge to grant her fans a rematch against Katie Taylor. She said, Finally, I promised my fans this rematch and I wanted it to be 12 x 3 minute rounds, but Katie wanted 10 x 2. She's the champ, so that is what we will do. I believe I won our first fight, but I didn't get the decision. This time I'm not leaving it to the judges. No more Sweet Serrano. War mentality activated. Thank you, Jordan, Nikisa, Jake, Mike, and Netflix for making the biggest women's boxing event ever. See you soon, Katie. She envisioned a 12-round clash, with each round spanning three intense minutes. Yet, the Irish boxing sensation stood firm, preferring to adhere to the conventional 10-round format, each round lasting a brisk two minutes. Responding to Taylor's insistence, Serrano pointed out that given the championship title on the line, they ultimately yielded to the preferences of the reigning light welterweight champion. The upcoming the bout will determine the undisputed super lightweight champion, as Taylor risks all her super lightweight titles in the rematch. Taylor recently said, This is the rematch the world has wanted to see, and I'm delighted that it's finally happening. The first fight in New York was obviously an epic occasion, and it more than lived up to the billing, and I'm sure the rematch will be no different. On the other hand, Ariel Helwani laid out the details. Katie Taylor versus Amanda Serrano 2 will serve as the co-main event on the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson card on July 20th at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. The fight will be for Taylor's undisputed gold at 140.
40 and will be contested over 10 x 2 minute rounds. Yet, amidst the anticipation, some wonder if this showdown deserves top billing or if it should share the spotlight as a co-main event. Many supporters appear to be outraged by the change. They expressed their worry, saying that the rematch between Serrano and Taylor ought to have a higher ranking than co-main. This individual seems absolutely thrilled by the latest update. In their view, this upcoming event marks yet another fantastic opportunity to honor the prowess of women in the boxing arena. The fan said, It's another amazing opportunity to showcase the very best of female boxing. You are both top-tier boxers. I'm sure you and Katie Taylor will enthrall us all. The subsequent commenter commended Amanda Serrano for winning a much-anticipated rematch. The fan said, Congrats on getting the rematch secured. The first one was an instant classic. However, amidst the buzz surrounding Ariel Helwani's post, some users' responses lacked enthusiasm. One user, in particular, expressed disappointment at the Serrano-Taylor rematch being relegated to the status of a co-main event for such a high-profile match, deeming it somewhat discourteous. The fan said, This being co-main seems disrespectful to be honest. This is a really high-level fight. This follower also pointed out that the Serrano-Taylor bout has stronger foundations than the Mike Tyson-Jake Paul showcase. They consider the matchup between the two winners in 2022 to be spectacular. The fan said, Bro, this is better than the main event. The first fight between these two was elite. Expressing a similar viewpoint, another user emphasized that true aficionados of boxing would eagerly anticipate the showdown between Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor. They argued that the excitement generated by this matchup surpasses anything Jake Paul has ever accomplished inside the squared circle. This fan expressed, Real fans should be way more excited for this fight than anything Jake Paul's ever done. Coming back to the Paul versus Tyson fight, Tommy Fury has publicly humiliated Jake for accepting a match against Tyson. The significant age gap of 30 years between the two contenders has sparked varied reactions to the proposed fight. Lennox Lewis and Tyson Fury have both voiced their support for the upcoming fight. However, Tyson Fury's younger brother made it clear that he sees the bout as lacking genuine legitimacy, expressing his disdain for the spectacle ahead. He recently told the media, I don't want to give a prediction on that. It is a 60-year-old man getting in the ring with a 26-year-old man as he distances himself from the affair. It is disgraceful. At the end of the day, if you are a good man, you don't want to fight a legend like that now. Referring to recent footage of Tyson training, the British commentator also shrugged off recent speculations from onlookers that the retired veteran Iron Mike could regain his former power as he readies himself to confront Paul. He asserted, what he was is not what he is now. These 10-second clips on the internet for a minute look great, but anyone can do that. Tommy Fury commented that the fight would be tough, emphasizing that even after 60 seconds, the impact would be significant. He expressed his belief that Jake Paul couldn't defeat him and suggested that Paul might be choosing to face a 60-year-old Tyson because of it. Tommy Fury added, The fight isn't a minute. At 60, you're going to feel it. And I know one thing, Paul couldn't beat me, so he is jumping in the ring with a 60-year-old Tyson. But Jake Paul hasn't done himself any favors. Would I get in the ring with Mike Tyson if I was offered it tomorrow? No. You have to have some respect about you, I think. Meanwhile, UFC legend Georges St. Pierre expressed his hope that Mike Tyson would not sustain any injuries and would avoid experiencing humiliation in his comeback fight against Jake Paul. He commented that he views Mike Tyson as an idol, having idolized him while growing up watching him. Well, it's, a, it's an exhibition and, and um, well, Mike Tyson for me is an idol, like when I, I grew up watching him and uh, I really idolize him. I just hope he doesn't get hurt and, and he, uh, he doesn't get humiliated. I hope things will go well and, and no matter what happens, I hope they're gonna both uh, come back and, and, and they're both gonna look good you know, from that. Up until he got a call, UFC CEO Dana White felt the same way about the fight. At first, he voiced some reservations and chastised Paul for taking on the previous world champion. However, the 54-year-old had a change of heart after speaking with Tyson's spouse. White said, I love Mike Tyson, and I'm not a fan of anybody fighting at our age, but he's a grown man, obviously, and he's going to do what he's going to do. At least I know. I talked to his wife a couple of days ago, and he's taking it seriously, and he's training for it, and you know, we'll see how it plays out. In addition, Mark Coleman has commented on the title Tyson versus Paul fight. In a recent interview with Ariel Helwani on the MMA Hour, Coleman appears to have given his backing to the bout. The 59-year-old, renowned as the first ever UFC heavyweight title holder, expressed his support for Tyson. What the hell he's getting involved with? He, he might get hit. He might get knocked down. It won't be the first time. He's doing it again, man. He's getting paid millions of dollars. 
and he's taking a risk. Coleman acknowledged that Tyson might face hits or even get knocked out, but it wouldn't be a new experience for him. He pointed out that Tyson is participating in the fight again for significant financial gain and is taking a risk because he believes he can succeed. Coleman emphasized that Tyson's motivation isn't solely money-driven, as Tyson genuinely believes he can knock Jake Paul's head off. Taking a risk. He believes he can do it. He ain't in there for the money. Mike Tyson believes he's gonna knock this kid. Coleman delved deeper into the psychological dimension of combat. He emphasized the critical importance of maintaining composure on the night of a fight, regardless of the level of training one has undergone. The UFC legend shared his perspective, suggesting that Paul faces substantial mental challenges as he gears up for his bout against the seasoned combat sports icon. Coleman emphasized the necessity for the YouTuber to maintain composure and confidence come fight night and said, Holy uh, mental, mentally is a big part of this whole game. People can practice all they want, but the fight night is a different story. You walk into that cage fight night, the nerves are different. Can you keep it together? Some can, some can't. Lennox Lewis, the renowned former undisputed world heavyweight champion, also offered his insights regarding the forthcoming match featuring his past rival, Mike Tyson, and the YouTube sensation, Jake Paul. Lewis declared that despite the negative publicity surrounding the fight's organization, he is still interested in it. He said, absolutely, it's going to be a great fight. I'm looking forward to it. I do not regret that the fight was not sanctioned as official. No, because I would be very sorry for Jake Paul. I don't want him to get hurt. On the other hand, Tyson has given a brutal new warning to Jake Paul. With an electrifying demonstration of dominance, Tyson unleashed fresh training footage while delivering a stern message to Paul. The video crackled with Tyson's iconic strikes, exhibiting remarkable swiftness and formidable force. Moreover, he added a threatening caption on X above the video as he wrote, Can't wait for this to be Jake. He signaled his preparation for the fight by mentioning he's getting ready for war in a recent Fox interview. This was further evidenced by his strong warning to Jake Paul in the clip. <laughs> The resounding impact of Mike Tyson's dynamic comeback to training has reverberated across the boxing realm, sparking a fervent whirlwind of responses from enthusiasts. For many, Tyson's training footage unveiled a fleeting yet potent reminder of his enduring mastery in the ring. A tweet succinctly encapsulated this sentiment, suggesting that if Tyson fails to triumph in July, the outcome may have been predetermined. The fan stated, If Mike Tyson doesn't win, the fight was fixed. The prospect that Jake Paul's antics and dreams of becoming a professional boxer would end as a result of this battle thrilled one fan. This fan said, the 60-year-old will retire the 25 years old. Numerous enthusiasts brimmed with anticipation for the impending spectacle. Their excitement stemmed from the prospect of witnessing Tyson's return to the ring, regardless of the ultimate result. This bout held the promise of enthralling both dedicated boxing aficionados and casual onlookers alike. This fan told Tyson, thanks for doing this champ. People my age and all ages will always be fired up for a Tyson fight. Some responses had an unsettling undertone. A few fans exaggerated the altercation and made remarks that verged on violence. For instance, this person expressed, I hope Jake Paul's family has life insurance on him for this fight. Mike Tyson's comeback to the boxing ring, even in an exhibition capacity, has ignited a spectrum of feelings. From steadfast belief to prudent doubt, unadulterated thrill to unsettling critique, the responses from fans highlight the enthralling and frequently contentious realm of boxing. Furthermore, a fan was left speechless when they witnessed Mike Tyson's strength using the gloves. This fan mentioned, absolutely incredible, just in awe of Mike. Picture this, a behemoth of a man, 220-pound Mike Tyson, hurtling towards you with the force of a freight train. It's the stuff of nightmares, right? Well, brace yourself because that's exactly the scenario awaiting Jake Paul as he squares off against Tyson on July 20th. And if you thought it couldn't get any more intense, Tyson himself teased a sneak peek of the impending showdown on social media just hours ago. <laughs> In this footage, Tyson appeared to be focusing on enhancing his agility, darting across the expanse with the ferocity of a charging beast seemingly poised to unleash havoc upon his adversaries. Yet what truly sent shivers down the spines of fans was not this display of raw power, but something else entirely. The true danger lurked within those words. In a message directed at Paul, Tyson declared, I'm coming for you, dripping with unmistakable menace. This might not suffice to send Jake Paul fleeing, abandoning his fortune. Nonetheless, it served as a stark reminder to fans 
demands that Tyson refuses to be confined by age. To him, it's just a figure on the calendar. The striking evidence of this phenomenon is clearly reflected in the plethora of training footage Tyson has been generously sharing ahead of the impending bout. Nonetheless, it's the recent tweet that appears to have resonated profoundly with fans. Consequently, enthusiasts swiftly flooded the comments section, reveling in the prospect of Tyson delivering a knockout blow to Paul's head come fight night. Witnessing Tyson's remarkable agility at 57, one enthusiast couldn't help but ponder the blistering speed a youthful Mike Tyson would have possessed. They went as far as suggesting that had Tyson chosen a different path, he could have easily dominated as a top-tier running back in the NFL. The fan said, Mike in his prime probably could have run a 4.5 or faster. No joke, man would have been a D1 running back if he wanted to be. Another individual appeared to envision Tyson charging toward them, akin to the scene depicted in the footage. Consequently, they confessed that they wouldn't relish the prospect of encountering Tyson in such a manner. This fan stated, I would not want Mike Tyson running at me full speed like this. Although it's a little unfair, someone else made the comparison between Tyson and everyday folks. The user asserted that as they get closer to 60, most males in the world seem worse than Tyson. They said, Mike Tyson looks better than 90% of male people, and he is almost 60 years old. Amazing. The person who spoke next said that Tyson wasn't the fastest man alive, but anyone would have fled with their tail between their legs if he had chosen to charge at them, as he does in the video. They said, look, I know it's not the fastest guy you've ever seen, but if Mike Tyson is running at you like that, it's terrifying. While the general consensus trembled at the thought of Tyson's lightning-fast moves, this individual remained skeptical. They emphasized the absurdity of expecting a 58-year-old to step into the ring, echoing concerns about Tyson's well-being. They said, no one should be fighting at 58. I don't like this. As Tyson revealed his training footage, a video comparing Paul and Tyson's training camps has surfaced online. <laughs> While Paul and Tyson are shown going through their paces, there is a noticeable difference in their levels of intensity. Paul adopts a seemingly carefree attitude, contrasting sharply with Tyson, who meticulously leaves no aspect unexamined during his rigorous training regimen. Meanwhile, Jake Paul is pouring all his energy into gearing up for the showdown with Mike Tyson. Despite the temptation of pursuing his debut in MMA, Jake is steadfastly prioritizing his boxing training above all else. But it's important to note that the influencer has committed to a bout with the PFL in 2024. PFL manager Don Davis assured that Jake Paul will debut in MMA, but also admitted that plans are on hold due to his fight with Tyson. Davis said, so his development in MMA is not coming along as quickly as we thought. Will he fight for the PFL? One 100%. The good news is, if people didn't think Jake was serious about combat, he's proven to be serious. The businessman was optimistic about Paul's development at the promotion. He said, he's gotten better. He's doubled down on boxing at the minute. There's no question about it. There was a time when he might have done 50-50. And right now, it looks like he might be 90-10 in boxing and MMA. However, fans think that Jake Paul has reportedly postponed his long-awaited professional fighters league debut due to concerns and apprehensions about his upcoming fight against Mike Tyson. Meanwhile, Tyson who will be 58 when he takes on Paul, insists he will roll back the years when the first bell rings in Texas. He said, I'm very much looking forward to stepping into the ring with Jake Paul. He's grown significantly as a boxer over the years. So it will be a lot of fun to see what the will and ambition of a kid can do with the experience and aptitude of a goat. As the date of the fight draws near, fans and critics alike eagerly await to see how the events unfold and whether Tyson can indeed make a successful comeback against the younger, ambitious Jake Paul. Make sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one.